And what do you need in the bank to say it's fuck you money? You need a lot more than money to say fuck you money. That's the whole thing about it, right? Because fuck you money in and of itself isn't a real concept. Fuck the whole idea of fuck you money doesn't work if you're still being paid by the matrix. If you're still stuck inside of a contract and your words are are controlled. There's a lot of people with a lot of money who can't say what they think. A lot of people with a lot of money who still have to take the injection they're told to take. A lot of people with a lot of money who can't stand up and say, no, that's wrong. I don't agree with this because they're going to lose contracts, sponsorships, et cetera. So to say, fuck you money, I mean, you have to have enough money to not ever work again, depending on how you earn money. Because I'm completely and utterly self-sufficient, I can't be canceled. So I think my fuck you money number is actually going to be lower than others because my money will never stop. And it's that made no sense. <laughs> you don't think so? Because by definition, fuck you money would be you can say whatever you want. And if you get fired or you have contracts, it doesn't matter because you're sitting right, on a ben. pile okay, of well, like, well, that, well, then it's a very difficult question to answer because it depends on your lifestyle, depends how you like to spend money, blah, blah, blah. I think so once you have your number, uh, once you have 50 M, then life's pretty, there's nothing else to buy. I mean, what, what are you going to buy? Like 50 M is, is plenty of money. You could buy a stupid boat if you really wanted one, but you could also charter one. I mean, besides that, there's literally nothing to buy with that kind of money. I think, I think once you're above 20 M, life's around the same, personally. I think that once you get above 20 M, you're just doing it for sport. So I think that's around fuck you money. But if I only had 20 million, I'd still be concerned about having an income of some sorts. And if my income was dependent on me agreeing with certain paradigms that the social system, the matrix tries to propagate, then it would be different, right? So it depends. It all depends on the individual. That's why I would say fuck you money. It's around 20 M. <laughs> having fuck you money is not enough. I have, I have a fuck you. You have to have a fuck you life. You can't just have fuck you money. I'm, I'm sitting out here in Romania in, inside of a house with 20 armed guards outside with, with a tower and AR-15s. And I'm, I've got 10 passports and 55 bank accounts. And like, that's what you need to have fuck you money. You sit in America and have $20 million with one passport sitting in America thinking you have fuck you money. No, you don't. You say the wrong thing. You piss the government off. They're going to come in your house. They're going to fucking take the house you own. They're going to lock you up. You ain't got fuck you money for nothing. This whole thing's a par- the whole paradigm's a lie. The government's the biggest mafia in the world. If you can't tell them to fuck off, you can't tell anyone to fuck off. So the whole the whole idea of fuck you money is it, all skewed anyway. Like you you have to be above the law in many different ways to truly have fuck you money. And you're not going to do that under one jurisdiction. It's not about being above the law. It's about it is about being above the law. But the easiest way to become above the law is to be under lots of different jurisdictions. If you have 10 different passports, it's much harder to constrain you. During COVID, Americans, English people, whatever, were all stuck in their houses because they couldn't fly because of X rule. Well, if you have 10 passports, well, then you're not American on that day. I'd, I'd turn up to countries and they say you're not allowed because you're English. I say, okay, well then I'm Estonian. I'm, uh, Estonians are allowed. Okay, I'm Romanian. Romanians are allowed in. Same guy, different passport. You have to have multiple passports. You have to be on multiple grids. The idea of living off grid is complete fallacy. You can't do that. You have to be on as many grids as possible. This is what the truly, you talk about fuck you money. The people with fuck you money don't even own anything. They own a share of an entity which owns things they can borrow. They have unlimited citizenships and passports. They have money out in the metaverse in the sky, hidden all around the world. Fuck you money isn't about having money in your bank account in your name. If you still do that, you don't. You can't say fuck you to anybody. Point is the absolute, when you talk about fuck you money, to me, the idea of fuck you money is they told me to stay in my house because of X. I decided not to, I've gone outside. The police are now here. And I told them, fuck off, fuck you. That's fuck you money. And that takes more than just money. That's my point.